guys welcome back to a new vlog yes we are finally vlogging again it's really hard to keep up with weekly to be honest i just vlog when i'm up to stuff because i found that from my last vlog a lot of you guys like when i do stuff and go out <laughs> not just stay at home all the time so today we're gonna go watch smile at the cinema it's a horror film and apparently it's really good some people don't like it i don't know but i love horror films so we're gonna go see that today i haven't watched a horror film in the cinema in so long i'm really really tempted to get some autumn stuff for the home or just like some cozy wear cozy stuff you know for the house so we might do that we might go bnm tomorrow and maybe costco i don't know we'll see okay i think hair's done i was gonna put some i was gonna put some dry shampoo but i'm just going to the cinema today honestly i'm not too bothered i did do some a quick dyson air wrap yesterday and you can see little flicks but i'm just gonna go like this to be honest and i am so overdue for like a haircut it's so i don't know if you guys can see but it's literally so long i think i might keep it for a month and then i'm gonna cut like this much off you know just like that much because this is too long for me it's so high maintenance it's so pretty like when i really do my hair but like oh it's just so much work <laughs> Yes, it is very high maintenance to have a white sofa and a white rug. But yeah, like I've got stains on the floor, but I've got a carpet cleaner, so that's fine. But this I need to sort out. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Grand Lid IKEA sofa. I think a lot of people have it anyways, but it's just so comfy. Every time someone comes over, they just say that this my like my sofa is so comfy. <laughs> Guys, I'm actually I'm such a clean freak. It's quite bad. It's like it literally affects my mood so much. If it's, because you think it's clean like from a first look, but I see all the issues. I see like the details. I see the dust on the I see the dust here, I see the dust here, like it's actually so tiring when you think about it. <laughs> all right guys we just came home and the film was very interesting oh my god it was do you know what i genuinely walked out feeling like what the hell what the hell was that and i i don't know i kind of i did enjoy it so i'll probably i think we all rated it like a six out of ten i'll, I'll give it like a six seven out of ten it was so weird it's weird basically and yeah i'm happy that we went to go watch it in the cinema i came home to a really exciting package so i got this because guys sephora's in the uk now finally feel unique that's becoming sephora that's crazy i love feel unique and oh, i literally had a massive parcel with them <laughs> like not parcel um a basket that i put a bunch of stuff in and now i don't know what's gonna happen with that i need to check that but anyways um and they gave me a bunch of um milk makeup i've always wanted to try this this is the hydro grip primer yeah i always wanted to try this so i'll probably film film a first impression on this but thank you so much to the sephora uk team it's that time to cut sky's nails so many of you guys like it when i cut her nails because she just sits there and she just chills bring it a bit closer okay we're gonna cut we're gonna cut little sky's nails I was gonna wash her but I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow because it's just so much effort and then I get my allergies I don't know if she enjoys this because I showed her the nail cutter and she then she started um, purring which is so weird I need this one going this one we're almost done. Oh, hang on, hang on. These ones are dirty, dirty. That's all done. That's a little puttery part. 
That's another pretty paw. And I swear animals know when you put the camera on them. They just know because they look sideways. Sky? What's wrong? There we go. A year later, almost a year later, I still need a bloody plant pot for this. Hopefully tomorrow we'll find something if we do go to B&M because I don't think I've ever been to B&M. I think I've been to there a few times but I didn't realise what, like, how good it was at the time we ordered takeout got a greek <sighs> what is it i think you say hero hero greek hero or like a gyro something like that i don't know how to properly say it so i apologize if you're greek but it's so good it's got it's like a meat wrap with like fries anyways i got the new iphone and I got this like silicone cover case thing from Amazon and it's so bad like it catches lint and it's so annoying but yeah this is the new phone it's so nice oh my god like the quality on this is bomb and I got so with my previous phone I got my case from Casetify and although they they can be really pricey they're so worth it because the amount of times that I proper dropped my phone and it didn't break even to this day i did my trade-in with my old phone there was literally no scratch or anything on that phone and they accepted the trade-in which i'm so like happy about because i'm just like the the case was worth it so i got it again and i've got a different kind of style i definitely recommend case to five so this is the case i got obviously you can tell i have this obsession for plants they have so many styles i literally couldn't decide which one i wanted but i went for this yeah it's like I don't know like it's just it's I like it I like it guys so I got this one and you can choose how thick you want the band but I always went with I, I always go with this one and then this one also has this thing I think I can charge it with like the compatible charger packs I think whilst having the case on I might get that but probably later on down the line because I've realized once when your iPhone starts to get to like two years old plus the battery is quite bad and then i also got a glass screen protector to be honest i didn't have a glass protector on my old one but i feel like you know what i'm gonna try it with this one let's see what's this about oh, good it comes with a wipe thank god for that so i'm just gonna clean my phone there was so much lint i don't know how i'm gonna take it all off i don't know why that it was like that old Amazon case was like attracting. I got I got a glass dent on there. I've already like dented my glass on the phone, on the actual phone, which is annoying. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna put this thing on because you know when you trade in, it's actually worth it to keep your phone in really good condition. You can't get any cleaner than that. The thing that I've realised with this phone, that the camera is chunky. Do I need the sticker? I hate doing the glass thing because I just feel like I want it to be perfect and I'm so bad at it. Taking all the dust. My nose is leaking because of the sky now. That is immaculate. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. So, now we've got to take the glass. Peel off film on tempered glass. Okay, it says to put it on the phone. Absolutely hate doing this. <sighs> My food's already here. I just got to push the air bubbles out. So much better. I feel like my camera is a bit more protected because it's not bulging out the phone. So when I, when I put it on the, on the table, I don't feel like it's sitting on the camera. So much better than this. And also, whenever I put this in my pocket, it kept catching in my pockets. Like, it wouldn't just slide into my pocket because it's silicone. Like, I do not recommend. When Skye finds a cardboard box, she's going to find a way to sit on it. Like, she's half sat on it. This isn't even big enough for her. <laughs> Wait, I need to take a picture of this. That's our food. We got some. Have you got some... Greek gym drinks? I think they're Greek. Oh yeah, it says Greek. Ooh! Oh, when I tell you I love this food. The only thing is, like, sometimes they don't put enough meat. But yeah, it just looks like this. A bit, a bit annoying because it's slightly cold. Mm. 
Ouais, moi je rajoute le souffle à qui This drink is so good and I'm stealing it from him. That's when I get off. We're just gonna enjoy our meal and watch Harry Potter. Morning, we got Starbucks. I have been obsessed with the white mocha frappuccino with semi skim milk and I put extra white chocolate mocha sauce. Oh my god, there's something about it. It's like so good. Look at this. She will do anything to go into a box. This is clearly not her size. I also love these um, for breakfast sometimes. I got them from Lidl and they come like this and I just bring them to work sometimes as well. It's so convenient. And the cream inside is lush. It's so good, guys. I don't know if I've mentioned this on the vlog yet, but I've been reading The Time Traveler's Wife, which I have been liking. Yeah, I think this is the chunkiest book I'm, I've ever read so far, but yeah, so far I'm liking it. And I think there's a series or film on this. And then I also got The Luckiest Girl Alive. There is a Netflix film on this. So yeah, I just want to read a book and then watch the thing, the show after. I've never experienced that. So we'll see. So we're on our way to Costco first and then we're going to head over to b and But yeah, we'll see what they have. I really want to get autumn decor and just like stuff on my backdrop as well. We're at Costco. Oh, we finally made it, guys, but the journey here was so disgusting. Oh, I've never tried this cake. I thought these were cake balls, but they're donuts. <laughs> guys, I'm trying AU vodka. This is a blue raspberry. Oh my god, it's so hard to vlog in public, but this is actually really nice. I'm getting hubby to try it. It's not the actual, like, straight up vodka, it's the can. Guys, unfortunately, we're not going to BM. Oh my god, I'm never ever going to Costco on a weekend. So busy, so hectic. The roundabout was absolutely disgusting. Like, ugh, I just want to go home. And plus it's a Sunday, so everything's closing a bit early and we need to go to Tesco. So yeah, BM, BNM is going to be for another day. So we ended up in Tesco and I think I'm going to get one of these for my backdrop because it's giving autumn vibes. This. Break everything. This is cute. It's not coming old. Can't wait to eat these. We've got a bunch of like hams and chicken for the week got butter for the seafood boil bottle of au blue raspberry we did see some for like 24 pounds in costco but like i proper i just prefer this one i think this one's my favorite i've never tried the grape one i think one day i'll try the grape one we got macarons if you haven't tried the costco macarons what you went for You got the salmon thing from Costco and it comes with this honey mustard drizzle and it's really nice. I'm just gonna quickly eat this. I have to film, then make the seafood boil, which is not really hard to make to be honest. I really want to clean the bedroom, but I don't think I'll have time today. <sighs> I got still work. I'm just having my breakfast favorite. I get banana porridge with dark chocolate chips. It's so good. And obviously, I'm gonna have my coffee. I'm not gonna lie, I had a good sleep. Yesterday was such a failed plan because I was supposed to go B and M, and I really want to go. But then I'm just like, should I go? Because I don't want to overclutter my place. Like, I don't want to hoard. The thing is, winter's around the corner, so I'm gonna want to change it up again. I don't even know if I showed you guys my decor, so I got this. <laughs> no, I just randomly put that there, but I guess that's my autumn decor. Yeah, I did end up getting this. It does look super autumn-y. 
and I thought like for my backdrop this would be nice it's literally fake but it's giving it's giving autumn it's giving autumn so I filmed a video during lunch um, just to show the rare beauty tinted moisturizer um, I'm watching a vlog from Nuri and yeah I'm just gonna get back to work in a bit guys i'm just getting ready we're gonna try and do a bnm run um but yeah i wanted to show you guys this because i think i'm really obsessed with this it's the amelia olivia glow milk blush by the crop beauty and it just gives the nicest like wet glow which i really like and it's like a very bluey toned pink and it just it's just so natural on me but yeah, I'm ready. I'm not going to do my anything with my hair. I'm going to keep it rustic like this. I did get this from Amazon, this set. Um, I really, I think I've already bought two of these for myself. But I'm just going to add these to my kit because they're really, really good. They're from Real Techniques. It was only £14 for this whole set. So, bargain. I'll leave a link to it below. But yes, these are some of my favourite brushes. And then I finally got the It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. If you haven't read It Ends With Us, you need to, I don't know what you're waiting for, but it's one of my favourite books. So yeah, I'm gonna, I still have to finish my other book and then I'll move on to this one. And then I'll read It Ends With Us again. Right, we just made it to B&M finally. It's so much better on a weekday. Let's get my bag. Oh. Guys, look at these lampshades. I would love this one, but um... It doesn't go in our bedroom. Like we need more like a grey one, I think. I think my sister would love that. Maybe I should just get this one. It's so cheap. Twelve pounds. I think I might get this one. You know. I'm gonna temporarily put it in my basket. In my trolley. So many options. Okay, I think I'm going to take this one because we have quite a big room, so I feel like this will fill it in. I don't know how much it is, but I'm going to bring this little bell one just in case and put this one back. There's so many things here, I don't know what to get, guys. I mean, the Christmas stuff's already out. This is so nice, but it's like, where do I put it after when I'm done? I took some warm Christmas lights because... Last year my Christmas tree was really bluish, like a cool tone white, so I'm just going to get that and then keep the same decoration. Unexpected IKEA trip. And I think we might grab a lunch as well. These would be so good for detergent and stuff, but I know I'm just not that kind of girl. Guys, this set is so nice because I already have the cream ones and they have this new brown one. I feel like it would go so well with our cream ones, but we don't need that much. Mm. Ikea have some really cute rugs. Like, they didn't have this last time I came here. Like, this is so, like, cute. That's my plant. My favorite section. We're literally looking for this specific big bonsai that my sister got because we have a small one and I ended up getting a bunch of other random stuff. We found them! Look how big these ones are. I really like this one because it's like full. Chance you know? Oh, I'm really happy with our lampshade. It goes with like our room. I feel like this bit here is super blank, but we'll just save that for another day. I wanted to put like hanging leaves, make it homey, put some like warm fairy lights or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe just frames. Let me know in the comments below, but I really like this and I got it for £18 instead of the £25 that was stated on it. It was on like sale and I didn't even know. I just need to cut the tag off because I wanted to be sure. I thought I'd show you guys what I've got. The first few things are from B&M. I had to get this for my backdrop. I don't know, I was just really, I just needed it. And I knew I had a candle in this form, but this is just way bigger. Super affordable as well. I feel like it's seven pounds. If you go on Amazon, these are way more expensive. Then I got some 
tongs because we do use this a lot when we cook i got this spoon because the one i have keeps melting whenever i lay it on the pan then i got these warm led lights for the christmas tree i think i did mention it i need to test that test it out and i got some random cleaning supplies this is the sif cream it's really good for especially if you're cleaning the bathroom it's really good guys and then i got some dental wipes that were on offer and some kitchen roll because it was so it was super affordable i think it was like two pounds or something then from ikea i got these cute like what are these martini glasses I just really like them so we might buy some cocktails later to drink in and i needed a whisk my old one was like rusting it was disgusting so definitely needed this then we picked up these small like what are these like sauce pots they're just really convenient to put your sauces in and then also these like mini bowls we always want like sometimes we need like mini bowls and we never have them so these will come into ha come in handy Bobby chose this it's just it just looks cool and with the black sand it just looks really aesthetic don't mind my mcdonald's monopoly and then we got the bonsai you can tell it's huge we do have a tiny one over there as you can see but this one is just way bigger nicer so yeah i'm really happy we finally got this it's been a while that we wanted to get this one it's so cold i think i'm gonna end the vlog here guys i did finish my starbucks i got white mocha frappuccino but yeah i'm gonna finish the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to share like this video and subscribe so you can join the family i will try and vlog for the next week so i'll try and be more consistent with the vlogs because i feel like youtube is just vlogs now I've, I've said this for a while now i only watch vlogs on youtube so anyways i hope you guys found this vlog entertaining or brought you some kind of comfort in some shape or form but yeah thank you for always watching and i will see you in my next video bye